What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So this whole offseason as we know it's been kind of about Ben Simmons and the drama with Philly and what's been going on with him and as you guys know he asked to be traded to a team that would build around him. Now obviously there was a lot of controversial statements behind that report because Philly has tried to you know Philly has tried to do that basically other than I guess Joel Bede being there they've pretty much tried to build around Ben Simmons but he says he wants to be built as the best player on the team built around him basically so what i'm going to do today what i'm proposing today here on nba 2k22 is we are going to make ben simmons dreams come true we are going to trade him to a new team and we are going to build around him as the best player on the team so how is this going to go i have no idea but hey it would be much appreciated if you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already let's jump right into this one like i said boys definitely hit that like button if you haven't already it would be greatly appreciated it only takes like five seconds of your time so first step is to trade ben simmons away from philadelphia now uh i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm not trying to find the most realistic package today i'm really just trying to trade ben simmons to a team that would build around him and i can only think about three teams and honestly if i'm being honest with myself and with you guys i don't see a team realistically building around him anyway but like i said we we're making his dreams come true today so uh the three teams that i did think that could maybe pull it off would be like the indiana pacers the orlando magic and the san antonio spurs who are you know three teams that don't have anything crazy going on i would say the pacers probably have more than those other teams going on obviously but indiana has just been kind of in a weird mold where they've been injured and just not making the playoffs but uh, the Spurs obviously aren't in a huge rebuild now, so I guess they could grab Simmons and try to build around him. Or, like I said, the Magic are in a huge rebuild as well. So either one of those teams would probably be ideal for a scenario where they could build around Mr. Simmons. So if we threw Simmons in the trade fire, like I said, I'm looking for those two teams. I don't even care what they offer me because I'm about to take over those two teams. And obviously, Philadelphia would love to get the best package. But like I said, not really worried about Philadelphia today. They can, you know. So we got Jonathan Isaac, Terrence Ross. This one... Uh, is a trade I'm definitely going to consider and then for the Pacers they're going to give me Karis Vert and Brogdon which actually that isn't a terrible offer um, so we could do that one and then the last one uh, that we wanted to look at was DeJounte Murray and Doug McDermott so we could either trade basically Simmons for Murray or we could trade him to the Pacers for Levert and Brogdon or we could trade him to the Magic for Isaac and Terrence Ross since uh, the Magic did draft Jalen Suggs and they have a lot of point guards I'm going to go ahead and trade him to San Antonio for DeJounte Murray. I am going to do this trade. They get Shea, we, uh, I guess we bring on Shake Milton as well. They also get Doug McDermott. So that is going to be the trade we do. And now all we have to do is take over the San Antonio Spurs and build around Ben Simmons. And now that Ben Simmons is the best player on this roster, how can we... Uh, so we could probably move him to small forward, power forward. I think I'm going to move him to the small forward because uh, it doesn't sound like Ben Simmons wants to play a Draymond Green-esque role that I thought he could definitely flourish in. No, he doesn't want to do that. So Sounds like, again, he wants to be the best player on the team and have a bunch of shooters around him, guys that aren't Joel Embiid or whatever it may be. So for this first season, I think we're probably just going to chill a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and summon to the offseason where I can make a lot of changes, obviously. For now, this team's obviously going to be very bad. And the one thing I do want to do is I want to mess with uh, Ben Simmons' shot tendency and just boost it all the way up. That way, this man is the guy taking the shots in this team. He is the best guy on this team and is going to be leading it like so so uh i don't expect this team to make the playoffs or anything but once we get in the offseason of course we're going to start building around ben simmons and making his dreams come true so of course like i initially thought we weren't very good we ended up not making the playoffs at all and now we get to kind of just sit back relax and see who's going to the championship as the milwaukee bucks win it all one thing i do want to look at though before we actually start building around this man is how did he do uh so 26 points per game the man went nuclear so uh again like literally no one around him uh shake Milton, thaddeus young were our two best scores behind him which obviously isn't going to get it done but like i said after this offseason we're going to uh you know try to have the best team built around ben simmons so I definitely have to be careful with how uh, or what moves I take and what players we end up signing or trading for just because obviously we have a salary cap to fill and uh, we got to make sure we stay under it and get the best players around Simmons. So the first step to this offseason is going to be the draft lottery as we get a fifth pick in the draft. I think for this video, I'm not going to be using it though. Uh, we end up with the third pick. So that's nice. Now we get number three and uh, I don't think we took. Yeah, we don't have any other picks in this draft. So number three in this draft is going to come clutch because we can use it i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how greg popovich would handle a guy like ben simmons so i guess it really doesn't matter who i sign i'll sign like michael stoffer and then uh so michael stoffer comes to the team and then we can kind of use it on maybe like a 
Oh, guard guru or something just something like that it really doesn't matter so we'll sign him and boom just like that got our staff let's go to the draft now so on draft night with the third pick what do we got under contract as of right now so simmons clearly the small forward Derek white 16 million uh i don't mind Derek white but i don't think he's the guy i want here so um of course i'm looking for like three and d wing players that's basically what we're, uh, we're looking for or just guys who can shoot threes in general so i think the first step uh, to this offseason was probably you know knocking out one of the positions that they don't take a lot of threes would be the center spot i'm thinking of guys like carly towns obviously a guy that would fit perfectly next to ben simmons and be a, kind of a second scorer to simmons which would be fun obviously and there's uh the guys like miles turner at the top of my head but i think it's probably best that i use my salary or my uh little bit of my salary getting carly towns because he would be the best center possible to get to put around simmons if we're being all honest with each other so i have my third pick in this draft straight up for carly towns i don't think they're gonna accept that but all they want is a 23 for dude getting carly towns in this game is too easy this man is heavily disrespected i don't know why i could sit here and trade two picks and get carly towns that's actually asinine so whatever though carly towns welcome to uh i was about to say philadelphia but we're in san antonio now so now we have the best center i think possible sitting next to ben simmons a guy who could obviously shoot that three ball that uh, we're gonna need at that center spot shot 43 percent from three last season that is exactly exactly what we needed so uh i think the first step of this offseason was an absolute dub now going into um we're gonna go ahead and sign our second round pick and then get these two guys and then let's go ahead and uh of course accept all these because we'd use them in trades or whatever and qualifying offers on walker wouldn't mind him and then for free agency i don't think i mean we should probably try to see if we can get anybody like that now not really lonnie walker is out here uh, that is young so those are two guys i do want to give money to because their salary will come in clutch so let's go ahead and throw that is young in contract and then we have to wait till lonnie walker's um a moratorium is over that way it doesn't glitch and turn into a one-year deal because i do want to use his salary in order to trade him so uh now that we got lonnie walker and uh we could also sign it looks like someone else um anybody really who could just shoot threes and just sit back and chill and not need the ball in their hands guys like kcp wouldn't be too bad to have so we'll go ahead and sign him but most of my uh acquisitions look like they're going to come via trade it looks like we kind of have a full roster but we could definitely use this to trade away so first the shooting guard spot how are we going to replace the shooting guard and then of course the power forward as well next so we got our center locked in next to simmons now we need to find who is going to be our shooting guard that's what i'm looking for next so there was a couple shooting guards i was looking at guys like buddy healed uh there was bogey there was malik beasley of course who i'm looking at right now malik beasley is another guy that i think would be fun to have here so if i threw in Derek white from Malik beasley they're not going to accept it straight up obviously but uh, maybe we have a couple guys down here they wouldn't mind taking like Keita bates diop or maybe there's uh let's say what about uh josiah james jordan james nope and then i'll throw in a couple seconds i'm trying not to tr uh, trade too much and yeah so we get malik beasley who's our new shooting guard who's gonna sit there and take a bunch of threes around simmons now i'm starting to wonder whether or not i will have to move simmons to point guard because i don't know a ton of point guards other than a guy like malcolm brogdon who could sit at point guard and not do much uh, so Simmons might actually have to play point guard for us and then kind of we're probably gonna have to look for like a three and D small forward who I do have someone in mind that I like a lot here if I could grab him but regardless um we do need a power forward as well so which uh i'm thinking of jeremy grant who shot 36 percent from three anything like that someone who could just obviously sit at the power forward spot and just shoot threes all day so jeremy grant immediately makes sense to me a guy like that uh, but there's uh some more players we could look for maybe someone out there that's cheaper we're gonna keep looking of course but we got our shooting guard we got our center now we need to find our uh point guard slash small forward and our power forward options at the power forward spot so jeremy grant is going to be kind of our best case scenario here to move him next to ben simmons so uh we only need like five million in this trade in order to make this work so we seize that collins money we throw that at them they don't agree yet i'll again throw some seconds see if that changes their mind and they still don't agree i feel like one first would get this done and they agree just like that we now have our power forward so now we have jeremy grant carly towns and malik beasley so that only leads us one more position obviously at the point guard but we might be moving ben simmons to uh the point guard spot just because uh obviously I, I don't know a ton of point guards who can just kind of sit there and not do anything so um what honestly what i'm looking at for the small forward spot would be a guy like mikhail bridges uh just anyone like that 3 and d wing player obviously who's just gonna sit there and again just chill and take some threes that's all we need uh for benson to be the best player so 
Uh, I am going to continue to look for one. Uh, Dylan Brooks also makes a lot of sense, but I know Mikael Bridges is pretty high overall in this game compared to Brooks. So someone like that is my ideal scenario in this situation. Obviously, to complete what I want, it was going to be Mikael Bridges. He ended up signing with Orlando for $17 million, shot 37% from three, 42% the year from that. Before that, and they want Keldon Johnson, they'll give me Cole Anthony. Honestly, I don't really want to do that. I'll just go, you know, throw you a first round pick, and they still don't agree to that. Okay. How about a couple seconds? This is a lot to give up for Mikel Bridges. Let me just do that. They still want to do this swap for Keldon Johnson. I'm just not really feeling that. If we don't have to do that, that would be great. I'll give you Trey Jones, and then we remove these seconds. They still don't agree. Okay. Again, I'll throw in these seconds, and uh, they still don't agree. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I guess I am going to have to throw in this first, and then um, let's see. I guess... And then I'll throw in that player. I, I didn't know it would cost this much to get Mikael Bridges, but it did. Oh, well. So we have completed basically what I wanted to complete around Ben Simmons. So now basically all we really need to focus on is the bench. Guys, I come off the bench and light it up. Obviously, we have our new starting five. I love it. So now we need to move Simmons to the point guard. And then everyone around Simmons is going to be able to knock it down, which is what we wanted. So now basically it's just simple traits for the bench. Guys who can shoot. And that's all that really matters. First trade I get out of the trade finder is going to be PJ Washington who knocked it down 37% from three last year. So he'll be our backup power forward. May even be our starter, to be honest. But uh, so PJ Washington is going to be, honestly, might have been a better fit than Jeremy Graham, but whatever. So we have that. So now we have our first building block. Keldon Johnson also is going to be the uh, backup small forward. Dan Vassell is someone uh, that I actually do want to keep around as well. Knocked it down 42% of the time. And then the only other thing I really need to find is a backup point guard, it looks like. Uh, everything else looks like it's kind of chilling. So just maybe a backup point guard and I think we're ready to start this new season around Ben Simmons. So I am going to be trading Devin Vassell, but I get Anthony Simons, who was knocking it down 38% of the time, 42% the year before that. Anthony Simons, if you watch Portland games, has become a really good off-ball knockdown shooter. So Anthony Simons, as the backup point guard, uh, could definitely play off of Simmons at times when they're out there on the court together. So now, this is basically, actually, we'll, we'll kind of look at it once we get into the actual season. That way, we can kind of look at the rotation all together. Player progression's looking good, though. No one's going down overall, it looks like. So that is a w and now all we need to look at is rotation and see what the perfect team around ben simmons looks like without getting a bunch of all-stars i think this was a really really good team that we put together around simmons got simmons malik beasley miles Br or mikhail bridges sorry pj washington carly towns obviously best center you could have put next to him jeremy grant off the bench i guess kelvin johnson anthony simons and lonnie walker so everyone in the lineup can shoot threes obviously besides ben simmons and i think the starting five definitely caters to his needs and what he needs and everyone around him is going to be able to knock it down if need be if Simmons needs to kick it out boom he's got someone who could shoot that three for him so boom I feel like we've put together the best team possible around Simmons without getting a bunch of all-stars if you know what I mean so uh last but not least I do want to ask you guys down in the comment section below what would have you done would you have done anything differently from what I did is there another play you were thinking about while you were watching this video about you know who you would have gotten instead to put around Ben Simmons obviously like I said I was wasn't gonna go out there and get a bunch of all-stars and put clay thompson and stephen curry around ben simmons or whatever it may be i was trying to you know some i, I wouldn't say realistic because this isn't a realistic video but uh obviously we were trying to get players that sounded like it was possible i guess if you know what i mean i don't know uh, i think you guys get what i'm trying to say but without further ado we've done enough talking we've done enough trading now we're just trying to see how this team is going to perform with ben simmons finally as the best player with the perfect lineup around him of the year mvp goes to luka Doncic. chet home grades your rookie of the year christian wood our sixth man i should say and then defense player goes to Yana shays your most approved and woolly green coach of the year executive goes to cody tool so i'm not sure if that was us or not i'll have to definitely see but if we look at the all nba teams i definitely am curious to see if simmons made one he did not okay so that's fine uh did no cat or anything but hey we did get the second seed simmons did make all defense first team so that's cool uh but yeah like i said we did get a uh second seed in the or in the west i don't know why I was about to say E. So in the West, San Antonio. Let's go. Let's go look at the stats now and kind of see how everything looks. So Simmons led the way with 23 points. Carly Towns right behind him. So if we go look at the three-point shots, um, looking at this, Simmons obviously attempted zero. Um, I don't know if he's going to be doing that in real life this season. Obviously, there's been a lot of workout videos, but let's be honest, we've seen that a lot. 
But looking at the rest of the roster, Carly Towns knocked it down 43% of the time. Jeremy Grant, 34%. Definitely would have liked to have seen that a little bit better. Same from Leak Beasley, but it's still uh, obviously fine. And then we got uh, P.J. Washington, 41%. Keldon Johnson, 42 Anthony Simons, 43 Mikael Bridge, 39 34 from Lonnie Walker. So not too shabby at all. We also have 100% from these two guys. Obviously, they didn't play that too much. Uh, they attempted uh, 0 point threes per game. So like I said, I think we put together pretty much the best team we could have put around Big. Ben Simmons so what is this team going to do though now that we have a team built around Ben Simmons does it make like a championship run or does it get eliminated in the first round we do have a tough matchup against the Clippers so I imagine like I said that yeah they do have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard so this could be a very very tough series ahead of us so um so many current round against the Clippers and we end up sweeping them so just like that that's actually a really good start to our playoff run because the Clippers are a team that have had championship aspirations for quite some time the fact that we were able to knock them out feels pretty good so uh, we swept them even and now we get to play Memphis another team that could be pretty overpowered in 2k especially if they have Zach Levine but they did lose Jaron Jackson so that kind of sucks for them but we're gonna go ahead and similarly current round against the Memphis Grizzlies and see how we do and we're down three to zero so that's unfortunate uh can we make this weird comeback maybe oh my goodness oh my goodness okay 2k you just wanted us to sweat a little bit all right let's go baby we are in the West Conference Finals we just reverse swept after being down three to zero all right now we need to play the Warriors obviously two guys that could fit perfectly around Ben Simmons would be Steph and Clay uh but uh, which that's why it's been a rumor, but Draymond Green being there just makes it all awkward. So, uh, Stephen Curry, Clay, Kuminga, Green, Wiseman, Mitchell Robinson, Andrew Wiggins, Jordan Poole, Tristan Thompson, Moses Moody. Let's see. Do we make it to the NBA Finals or do we fold here? So, winning game one, they're up one to zero. Game two, they're up two to zero. Game three, they're up three to zero, and uh, we get swept. So, we did make a run to the West Cards Finals, which is further than Ben Simmons has been in his career. Uh, but now we got the Atlanta Hawks and the Golden State Warriors so many in these playoffs and we got the Atlanta Hawks going on to win it all So it's unfortunate that we did fold against the Golden State Warriors But hey, we did make it all the way all the way to the Western Conference Finals And I feel pretty good about that The one thing I do want to do is give this team one more chance though We're gonna run it back one more time I'm gonna try to keep the team the same though Uh, because I, I feel like we've put together the best team possible around Simmons and I want to kind of keep it the way Oh, we have the six pick via actually we, may, we might be able to make this team even better I don't know man. Should we try to make this team better? We have the six pick in this draft. So um Number six could be you know could come in handy. I don't know. Do I get crazy here and Colin Sexton, I'm not doing anything like that. Nah, I think I'll just probably keep the team the same. I could definitely, you know, get somebody good, but kind of like the, the chemistry we had, kind of just want to run it back. Obviously, we're going to get somebody at the sixth pick, uh, but I'm not too worried about them. Uh, I guess we can jump in and grab whoever. So at number six, as long as you can shoot threes, I'll select you, I guess is what we should say. Uh, so you have Kante George, Derek Whitehead. What did you shoot at college? 43% from three, good enough for me. Welcome to the team, thank you. All right, boom, just like that, we got our brand new... Uh, player who was a 76 overall so i don't know if he'll crack the rotation but we'll see malik beasley of course i'm going to accept qualifying offers bj washington kelton johnson are two free agents i don't want to lose so we are going to sign both of them back uh, actually we have a lot of free agents so um shake milton uh, somebody who didn't play the rotation too much uh, but i'm going to go ahead and sign jeremy grant back and uh we're going to sign jeremy grant and then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and sign. Actually, you know what? There's one more player who I think could actually fit here perfectly a little bit. And that would be Jaron Jackson, who uh, the Memphis Grizzlies lost. Uh, so, um, wait, I'm looking at, that's, that's the wrong name. Okay, Jaron Jackson, give me a chance at him. Just because he would be kind of a better power forward to have. 36% from three, uh, but he might be tough to get. So, uh, let's see, Oklahoma City. Uh, we give you um, Lonnie Walker. Actually, I need to wait after moratorium and like throw Jeremy Grant in there as well. So um, we're going to sign Jeremy Grant. And then uh, is there anyone else? Uh, Mikael Bridge is another guy I need to sign back. Damn, okay. Uh, hopefully, I can sign him back. So we'll sign. Washington's getting an offer. We're going to match that. And then, uh, of course, we want Keldon Johnson back. But I might wait on him. All right, last uh, Mikael Bridges. I can't sign him back. Is that actually a thing? Uh, we'll probably have to trade for him again, I guess. He's getting $23 million. Okay. Actually, I can't sign him back. W. All right, Mikael Bridges, welcome to the team. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, Kelvin Johnson will wait on him. So, the last thing I do want to look at is uh, the possibility 
possibility of getting Jaron Jackson just to upgrade this team a little bit more to see if that's even possible. All this for Jaron Jackson, Derek Whitehead, Jeremy Grant, Vernon Carey, and they accept. Boom, just like that, we got Jaron Jackson. So the only thing we really need to wait on now is getting Keldon Johnson back, and we're ready for this third season. Or yeah, yeah, third season, I guess it would be. So third season, Keldon Johnson, please come back, and just like that, we got him back, and boom, now we have pretty much, uh, I guess, even better roster around Mister Mister Ben Simmons. So we are ready to roll, man. Let's go ahead, and uh, it looks like oh, I almost, I I think I left Anthony Simons out there too, but it's okay. So. We're going to go ahead, though. Some of this third and final season. Now we're going to run it back one more time. If we look at it, um, nine-man rotation, Simmons, Malik Beasley, Mikael Bridges, Jared Jackson, Carly Towns, Kelton Johnson, P.J. Washington, Lonnie Walker, and Joshua Primo, who uh, looked like he developed in a pretty good three-point shooter, so I'm fine with him cracking the rotation. All right, man. Let's go ahead, send it this season, and let's see what happens. Hey, Ben Simmons did make an All-NBA first team in this video. 24 points, uh, very good, 65% from the field from him, and then he makes an All-Defense first team. So, if there was ever a year to win a championship here with Mr. Ben Simmons, it would be now. Player stats, 24-2018. Uh, if we go look at the three-point percentage again, 43, 38, 38, 39, 39, 39, 40, 43. W all around. Joshua Primo was really good as well. All right, man. Now it is time to uh, see if we can win a championship. So we got the Memphis Grizzlies, who almost beat us last year. So uh, you never know what could happen. Similar in the current round, and we are going to beat them in a five. Boom. Now we get to play the Sacramento Kings. Darren Fox, Halliburton, Buddy Heald, Bagley. I just got to remember, man, if I ever do an 82 -0 challenge in 2K22, Halliburton is a guy I have to get. This man develops like crazy in this game. 89 overall ready for this guy. All right. Similar in the current round against Sacramento, and we get swept. So unfortunately, it didn't even give me my... Uh, thing that we got eliminated but whatever so you know what we tried we put together the best team possible around ben simmons i felt like and unfortunately it just was not possible today to win a championship with him but hey it was fun to try to um i don't know feel, i feel like we should do this a little bit more if you guys enjoy this definitely hit a, hit that like button of course if we should try to like build certain teams around a player that would be i feel like it'd be fun i don't know if you guys would enjoy wait for some reason i thought that I said to johnson murray's a 96 overall that was actually kind of wild for a second but uh thank you guys for watching Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like if you did. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.